it's me, Bash Bunny. I'm here to tell you some important stuff about Wish. Wish makes it easy to serve any of your terminal-based applications over SSH with all the perks of the SSH protocol backing it. You can serve a TUI over SSH. So this might allow you to create a sick coffee shop in the terminal where people can buy their coffee and that's pretty cool. Or you can even have it serve an interface to one of your servers so that anyone who's connecting has another option for UI. You can also run commands over SSH as if it's local, meaning that you can pipe something into a command and have it print to SCD out. You can also have it respond to SSH related operations like SCP, for example. There's a project called Pastes that allows you to upload SCP files to a paste bin via SCP. I'll link that project in the description so that you can check out how they did that exactly. Another cool thing that cannot be overstated is that you can now play solitaire in your terminal. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You can serve games over SSH though and have like multiplayer games, which is sick. So Moss, uh, one of the developers at Charm, created something called Gambit and it allows you to play chess with one of your friends in your terminal over SSH. We need games, okay? What was the real value of Windows XP computers if it wasn't the solitaire game that came pre-installed? I don't know. There's some other perks too of serving something over SSH. Of course, there's the convenience of when you roll out an update, making sure that all your users are on that new version, not a concern. Update it on the server and then your users are forced to comply with the changes, okay? It's also convenient that you don't have to install the app locally, very similar to the convenience of a web application in that regard. Another really cool thing is because we're using the SSH protocol, we get all of the fun little bits that come along with it namely authentication with SSH keys, which means that it's pretty anonymous. You don't need an email address. You don't need to upload your government issued ID to make sure that you are who you say you are. You are just an SSH key in the wild. And as an administrator, you can define the authentication to happen on a per key basis. We might be serving different data based on different keys that are connecting. Another nice thing is that authentication isn't even necessary. When it's needed, it can be transparent through a key exchange, similar to how you can SSH into a server without a password if you are in the authorized keys file. There's always some cool ideas and inspiration in the projects channel on Discord as well. So if you want to join the Discord, I will also have that linked in the description. If you do want me to create a video on some cool projects that are built and served over SSH, let me know and I can put that in the backlog if it's something that is of interest to the general YouTube audience. All right, let me know by liking this video and commenting. Tell me these things. Otherwise, I won't know. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.